Okay, this next video tutorial is how to add students into NC Ed Cloud. Um, any teacher of record of a student can add students into NC Ed Cloud and or reset their passwords if students cannot do it themselves. I'm going to go through several steps in here. However, remember if it's a brand new student coming from another district or another state, it may take a while for their name to populate into NC Ed Cloud as they are created once they are entered into PowerSchool. Students can get to NC Ed Cloud by typing in my.ncedcloud.org or clicking the link for NC Ed Cloud that is found on the Butler homepage, which should be populating for every student when they log into the Chromebook for the first time. This is also a good indicator that your student may not be shutting down their Chromebook every day if they're not having this page still up. So on their NC Ed Cloud page, the first thing you may want to ask the student is, have they ever used this before, perhaps another district or in CMS? Their username is their ID number, and then their password is a password they created for themselves. If they do not remember that password, they can click the password reset button, which will prompt them to go through and type in their ID number and then answer the password recovery questions. If a student doesn't remember the password recovery questions, that's when you're gonna to need to reset their password. Remember, every time they do that, they get two more of the five questions, so they can do it a couple times. It won't lock their account. If a student is brand new to CMS, they will click the Claim My Account, and I'll have these directions too. You need to make sure they switch it from employee to student, um, and then follow the directions. Our UID for our district is 600, or they can click the link to find that, and they can do this. Only students who have never, ever been in North Carolina or use the NC Ed Cloud account will actually need to claim their account. If they're coming from another district, they still have an NC Ed Cloud account. Okay. To set up a student's or reset a student's NC Ed Cloud account, a teacher will need to go to their device and their login for NC Ed Cloud. I'm on mine. And then at the top, we're going to come across the applications and click the down arrow. And we're going to switch from there to people. Once we're under people, we're going to click, and I may have more than you, we're going to click my students. And when you populate, when you click my students, your students that are enrolled with you are going to be populated. Now, there is a default password on here, but our kids are high schoolers and they've been using this for a long time. So the default password probably doesn't work for them. So we're going to highlight the student we want. And then down here at the bottom, we're going to hit change their password. And we're going to say, are we sure? We're going to say yes. And then it's going to ask me to change the student's password. Um, again, this is the same password policy that students must do, so make sure they're making a password that meets their criteria. It cannot have their name, first or last, can't have spaces, can't have an exclamation point. Um, normally what I do is I just put in a password for the student that I can immediately have them switch again um, and then set this little check mark button. The student must change that password the next login and I make it something very simple that I can quickly throw out to them. Um, it looks like in this one I might be able to open this eyeball and see the password or this one actually is probably one for me. So um, don't use that. I don't use the default. Um, even though that's up there, just because, like I said, they've changed that a bunch of times. You can reset it to the default value and then pop that default one from on your student list. Um, normally, like I said, I use this one. I put in like something like one, two, three, ABC, whatever matches the criteria. Tell the student, then have them reset. So um, that's what I do. Um, you don't want to do it for everybody because you're changing every single student you may have. You just want to do it for one kid at a time. And then to get back to your applications, you'll simply click back to applications and then all your stuff will be back in, in um, NC Ed Cloud. 